The Book of Expanded Deism by Jason X. Chapter 1 An Introduction to Expanded Deism. Question 1 What is Deism? Answer 1 Deism is the philosophy that teaches only the following two things. 1 One should base all of one's beliefs on reason, and 2 Reason leads one to conclude that the divine exists, or at least probably exists. Question 2. What is expanded deism? Answer 2. Expanded deism starts with deism and then expands to give one an adequate personal philosophy. An adequate personal philosophy is a rational belief system that is substantive enough to give one enough guidance to be as sane, good, and happy as possible without making any unnecessary assertions. The more unnecessary assertions a belief system has, the more likely it is to be confusing and false. Question 3. Why do added assertions increase the likelihood of a false belief system? Answer 3. Suppose that there are three assertions, and that two of them are true, but one of them is false. If you believe one of them, you have a 33% chance of believing in something false. If you believe two of them, you have a 66% chance. And if you believe all three of them, you have 100% chance. Question 4. Why is the book of expanded deism written in this question and answer style? Answer 4. The book of expanded deism is designed to be used in a ritual way, either by oneself or with a group. Like it or not, most humans would benefit from an adequate personal philosophy that also provides the opportunity for helpful ritual and fellowship, something like a religion, but much more rational than most, if not all, religions. Deism is not a religion, but it is also not, by itself, an adequate personal philosophy, unless it is expanded, and while it is being expanded, the result might as well include a helpful ritual with the potential for helpful fellowship. That ritual and fellowship is the weekly reading. See chapter 30 for details. Question 5. Why do most humans crave fellowship and ritual? Answer 5. Here is at least part of the answer. We humans crave fellowship because we are social creatures, and we are social creatures because working together helps us survive and thrive. We crave ritual because ritual can teach us helpful skills and beliefs, and it gives us an activity that we can do with others, a social activity for social creatures. Question 6. Who is Jason X, and does he want to be a glorified religious leader? Answer 6. Jason X is a 21st century deist who does not want to be a glorified religious leader. If he had his way, the Book of Expanded Deism would have been written and promoted by someone else long ago, so that he would not feel nervous creating and promoting something that looks like a new religion, even though Expanded Deism is actually a very rational, personal philosophy with the opportunity for some ritual and fellowship. The reason Jason uses X instead of his real last name is so that he can be anonymous. Being anonymous is the opposite of being glorified. Question 7. Why did Jason X create Expanded Deism, and why is he sharing it with the rest of humanity? Answer 7. He created Expanded Deism because he wants all beings, including himself, to be as sane, good, and happy as possible. Sharing expanded, <clears throat> sharing expanded Deism will accomplish that goal more than keeping it to himself. Simply speaking, if we humans do not philosophically guide each other, then we will not be philosophically guided. If you can guide humanity better than Jason X, please do. And if you know a better belief system than expanded deism, please promote it. At least expanded deism is a relatively good belief system, and it's better to have a relatively good, although imperfect, belief system than no belief system. Question 8. Why is it better to have a relatively good, although imperfect, belief system than no belief system? Answer 8. To paraphrase, to paraphrase Answer 284, most of us humans need a belief system because we have to make choices. A belief system helps us to decide what to choose. We are curious, and a belief system helps satisfy our curiosity. 
because of these reasons, we will embrace a belief system. It is better to embrace a relatively good belief system than a relatively bad belief system because the former will help us more than the latter. Thus, until we find or create the perfect belief system, we are wise to embrace the best belief system that we can. What we believe greatly influences what we think, do, and feel. Therefore, the better our belief system, the more sane, good, and happy we will be. Question 9. What is a cult? Answer 9. A cult is a group of persons who are dedicated to a belief system, and the practices and or belief system of that group are obviously false and or evil, obvious to an intelligent outside observer, that is. Question 10. What are some signs that a group or belief system is cultish? Answer 10. The group and or belief system strongly discourages independent thinking, rejects for a dishonest reason what is appropriately regarded as proven scientific and or historical truth, encourages inappropriate loyalty to its founder and or leader, opposes proper relationships beyond the group, promotes inappropriate actions, punishes members for quitting it, and otherwise promotes unnecessary cruelty toward any sentient being. Question 11. Is expanded deism likely to be a cult? Answer 11. No. Expanded deism strongly promotes independent thinking and embracing proven scientific and historical truths. It has no official leader and does not oppose proper relationships beyond the group, promote inappropriate actions, punish members for quitting it, or otherwise encourage unnecessary cruelty toward any sentient being. Expanded deism does have a founder, but its founder has worked very hard to avoid being cultish. A less cultish belief system than expanded deism that is also an adequate personal philosophy is difficult to imagine. Question 12. Is there an analogy for what you are trying to do by promoting expanded deism? Answer 12. Yes. In one science fiction series, there is a planet whose rational species was technologically advanced, but so violent that they, often, that they almost completely destroy themselves. Fortunately for them, and everyone they impact, a philosopher founded a movement that reformed their way of thinking and living. Because of this movement, the species became much more helpful to themselves and others. I do not expect expanded deism to be embraced by the majority of humans, but I do hope and expect it to have a very helpful impact on more than one sentient creature. At the very least, it has helped me very much. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and or comment. May reason, compassion, and hope prevail.